The number 23 is very significant, or the number five. Somebody's success is coming in. Whatever you've been praying for, financial gain, or financial business-wise, it's here for you, baby. Fire sign. Oh, you know what? Spirit just say, don't pull it no more, because I don't give you enough. Take all the ones that just sell, <laughs> and that's what you go on. I know this is the first word. I didn't even know what it meant. I was gonna go look it up. I showed it to my husband. My husband says it means, give me a little bit extra more. Can I have everything on my hamburger with a little bit of extra? Something is coming in for someone extra. Whatever you pray for, Spirit is about to bless you with even more because you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, water sign. Number 10, whatever you've been dreaming about is here, harvest season, fruition. Number nine, ending of a new cycle, beginning of a new, ending of an old cycle, beginning of a new one. Ooh, abundance, it's here for you, I can't make this up. I'm doing a reading, babe. I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> Ace of Cups. 19. 19 could be significant. The number 10 could be significant. It's very significant because I just pulled the 10 on my other card. But you need to focus. Don't lose focus. Spirit saying don't lose focus. And don't fuck with nobody who's going to distract you to lose focus. That goes for family, friends, lovers, co-workers. Don't lose focus. Because all that learning, all that teaching yourself, all that going within, all that meditation, all that you've been doing throughout the years, you may have not even been knowing why you was doing it, but spirit was pulling on your heart. Don't give that up. That is what's gotten you to this level that you are at now. This is for someone who may have, th this person is working on their spirituality. They never, they, they never stop learning. Just because they ain't in school no more don't mean they never stop, lear uh, stop learning. This person is going, this person is resourceful. This person is very intelligent. This person is very intuitive. This person is always looking for ways to better themselves and the people that they care about around them. But I want to remind you, Spirit wants to remind you, not everyone can go with you. Be mindful. Companionship. Three of Cups. Number 16 or number 7 can be very significant. You could have been born in July. Probably July 16th. Something significant about seven. Seven days, seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it don't fly, if it don't apply, let it fly. Speak your truth. Two, 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 speak your truth. Harmony, balance. Those who matter, don't mind. And those who mind, don't matter. Someone may have tried to in the past block your throat shock or keep you from speaking what you know or what you feel is right or keep you from being the person that spirit called you to be. Speak your truth anyway. You are supported. Share your gifts. I can't make it up. You have a calling. You cannot run from. You have a calling you cannot run from. Or you have a calling that you've tried to run from. But here it goes again. You are a person of the arts. Share your gift. You see this person in the background who's musically inclined, drawing in people to listen? Or this tarot reader? You may be, you may be a spiritual lead, a, a reader. You may be a, 
um, of high rank in the spiritual realm. You're a person of higher authority. People depend on you. People come to you. Spirit is saying, don't give up on that. Tap in. Use your gifts and share them accordingly. Number eight, abundance. 17 comes up next. That's eight again. Libra, balance. Balance is, in, is, balance is here, baby. Balance is here. You may have felt like things just wasn't looking up for you and that no matter how hard you try or no matter what you do, nothing's working out for you. The scales are being balanced, baby. You know why, though? Because you, not because you did, you went, you went within. You wanted better, so you did better. The Spirit is rewarding you for that. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Number 11. Divine one. Be mindful, be aware, be observant. Remain intuitive. And the only way you can do that is by tapping in with spirit. As soon as you tune out or you tap out with that, you lose all those gifts. So it's very important for you to keep that in mind and keep feeding your gifts. Keep feeding spirit. I just heard offerings. Somebody needs to give offerings. I don't care if you go to the water and throw in a rosebud, some rose petals, something. You, you, something you need to offer. Ask spirit about that. Number 18. Peace. It is with you. Peace, love, and light, and darkness. Because it's a balance, baby. Etsy shop, link in bio.